I found a Shopify store that's making over $2 million a month from just selling one product. And in this video, I'm gonna break down exactly how they're doing it. Studying successful brands has helped me more than anything in my journey. So I know for a fact that this is gonna help you. If you're new here, my name's Jordan and I'm currently documenting the entire process of growing my online store with as much transparency as possible. So if you're interested in starting your own online store and you wanna follow my journey, make sure to subscribe down below for new videos every single Friday. All right, now let's check out the store. Okay, so the store I'm talking about is called Blendjet. So the entire Blendjet brand is entirely focused around this blender that is extremely lightweight, portable, rechargeable. Basically, you can take it anywhere you wanna go. If we take a look at the traffic breakdown from similar web, you can see that last month they did around 1.5 million visitors to their website. So if only 3% of those visitors ended up purchasing, last month they brought in over 45,000 new customers. So if we're estimating their sales on a low end, we could take 45,000 times their average order value, which is somewhere around $50, and the number we get is around 2,250,000 in sales, which like I said, is the low end. They're probably bringing in 2.5 to $3 million a month in revenue, which is insane for a one product store. This is a brand that I have studied heavily because my store is similar to this. So let's break down what I've learned from studying them and exactly how they're doing this. Back in 2017, there were a ton of stores that were selling this exact same product. This was one of the most popular general store dropshipping products. I probably saw this thing scaled by over 10 stores. But these guys, John and Ryan, decided to take this product and try to build a brand around it. The only reason I know this is because I used to be super active on e-com Facebook groups and I would see them post all the time. They were posting huge numbers like thirty dollars to $50,000 a day, and I believe it was from selling this product. So they transitioned from the general store model to building a full brand around this product. I'm sure they ordered a couple thousand units with their branded logo on it and started shipping the product just as they were before. And when you do this, an interesting thing happens in the marketplace. All of those other general stores that were selling the product almost become obsolete. When you build a brand around a product and you position yourself as the number one seller, a big thing happens. You start to float to the top of the marketplace and these other stores start to look like knockoffs of your brand. This is exactly what I've done with my current brand. I started out with drop shipping. I tested a few products. I found this one that was working really well and then transitioned over to a full on brand and since then have become the number one seller for this product. Every single week I see new people popping up trying to test my product, but they just don't get the same results as me because they don't have the foundation. So Blendjet is a five-star example of a company that has done this flawlessly. And now at this point, they're pretty much unstoppable. They have a team of around 10 people. They're by far the top seller of portable blenders because they have the best quality product. I even have one myself, it's right there, and I use it every single morning. And now they're even taking it to the next level by expanding into a new product line and launching some really cool accessories. So let's do a quick breakdown on how they're able to maintain this high level of scale because it's what I'm pushing for and have studied so heavily. First things first, they are maximizing the amount of money that they make from every single sale. Sure, they're selling the product for $50, which is a great price, but they have a ton of really smart upsells that allow them to make 20 to 30% more from every sale. They offer accident protection and make them up to 10 extra dollars per sale. They offer these portable smoothies that are ready to blend, which is honestly the perfect upsell. You can also subscribe to get them every single month, which is genius. It just allows them to increase their reoccurring revenue get another blend jet, you get this insulated sleeve, recipe book, and even an insulated tote bag. When you factor in all of this, this has probably taken their AOV from around 50 to 70, 80, even $100 per sale. So if you were to go out there and try to sell the same exact product, it just wouldn't work. If they're advertising on Facebook and you're advertising on Facebook, they can spend way more money than you to get a customer. It's the exact same way I run my business and I highly advise you to look at yours in the same way. Another thing worth mentioning about them is that they have a ton of really nice custom content. If you click on every single color of their product, you're gonna see amazing content. You're gonna see really high quality photos that really stand out and capture your attention. 
as you scroll, you're gonna once again see really high quality videos and images that just give that wow factor and make you feel like these are the guys for the product. They show everything really close, really high def, and it just makes you honestly wanna buy the product. Custom content is so important and it makes all the difference when building a brand like this. Even if you're nice with Photoshop and you put your logo all over the image and the box, nothing beats having your own video that stands out from the competition. The product itself is really simple, but they've made it look like something revolutionary with this content. The last thing worth mentioning on their product page is they have a ton of reviews. It is insane. Every single day, it seems like they're getting one to two new reviews, which once again, just makes it look like the best brand for this product. If you were shopping around for a portable blender, you'd probably end up going with them as opposed to even buying it from Amazon because the ones on Amazon look like knockoffs. People always worry about competing with Amazon, but if you truly create the best product and experience for your customers, Amazon is not a worry for scaling your business. And of course, you could always put your product on there as well because people are gonna be searching for it anyway. Now, how are they getting their traffic? There's three main ways that I found and they're the exact same ones that I use in my business. So the first one, of course, is Facebook ads. They are running a ton of Facebook ads. They're probably running over a thousand different Facebook ads right now all different types some are educational some are review based some are just simple photos of the product they're basically just blasting their audience as much as possible with content of their product after people come to your website one time it's just a massive retargeting flow with tons of custom and really nice content that demonstrates the value of your brand typically you want to have a video that's designed for cold traffic for people that have never heard of you that demonstrates your product and what it's going to do for them. This is theirs. Big blenders are messy. Meet Blenja 2, the next gen blender. Um so they basically show the problem of regular blenders and show their product as the better solution, even though that whole situation happened to me with their product too. <laughs> and then after you get hit with that ad, they retarget you with discounts, with sales, with customer testimonials until you end up purchasing. It's really good inspiration for anybody out there running a brand and I highly suggest you study their Facebook ads. So their second major stream of traffic is YouTube and Google ads. I get their YouTube ads pretty much every single day and they follow the same exact strategy as Facebook. They have a cold traffic traffic ad that's designed to introduce you to their product and why you need to buy it. And then they have a bunch of retargeting ads just to get you interested to come back and buy. This right here is their cold traffic ad. And as you can see in just the last four months, it's got over 5 million views, which is huge on YouTube ads. This is the number one gift this holiday season. The all new Blendjet 2 portable blender packs so much power and innovation. It's five times more powerful than the original and can blast through almost anything just demonstrating the benefits of the product and why you should check it out and buy. And then basically they just retarget with videos like this, this oh, girl reviewing the product. They have another video of people blending different things in the blend jet, which is actually really smart. It's just her blending different roses and nuts and celery all in this product just to show you that this thing actually worked. And as you can see, this ad is doing extremely well. People in the comments are even saying, this is the first ad I watched all the way through. I had this as an ad and it was super satisfying to search it up. This is a really good ad that they've made a ton of money off of. In terms of their Google ads, they're basically just running basic shopping and search campaigns. So when you search up Blendjet or Portable Blender, they pop right up. And the last stream of traffic that they're pushing heavily is YouTube influencers. So if you search Blendjet 2 on YouTube, you're gonna see a ton of videos of people reviewing and giving feedback on the product. Some people hate it, some people like it, but regardless, a lot of people are getting this and making videos off of it. This is really good because I know that when I'm about to buy something, I always search it up and look up reviews on YouTube and this product has a ton of them. Of course, they're using Instagram influencers as well, but it seems like they're doing a bigger push on YouTube. So overall, this simple brand is absolutely crushing it, making over $2.5 million every single month. They're not doing anything too revolutionary, but they're focusing on a few major principles that you need to adopt. They've created the highest quality product and become the number one seller for this product. This is super important because with drop shipping, anybody can come in and copy your product like that. So if you take the time to develop your product, brand it, make it the best quality out there. It makes it significantly harder for anybody to come and compete against you. Custom content is what separates you from everybody else because it's exclusively yours. And from a customer's perspective, it makes them trust your brand so much more. When they see a nice quality video of your product with your logo with somebody else holding it, 
They don't feel like they're gonna get scammed or this is some fake product. They understand that it's legit and it's backed up by those videos and photos that you have. Not to mention with custom content, nobody can steal your stuff and nobody can clone your website in the same way. Custom photos and videos take your website and landing page to the next level. And Blendja is a perfect example of that. Lastly, they hit every single stream of traffic. I know I just showed you three, but these guys are marketing everywhere. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, Google, Pinterest, TikTok, influencers. These guys are hitting every single channel. And I think that that's hands down one of the reasons why they're so consistently successful. If you put all of your attention into one stream of traffic, you're destined to fail eventually. Even if you scale extremely high, all it takes is one issue for that whole traffic source to get shut down. So if you can adopt these three principles, you can build a pretty big brand. And these are the exact same principles that I'm following in my own brand. Next week, I'm about to surpass a million dollars in sales with this brand, and I highly attribute it to following these principles. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos just like this. I have an absolute banger plan for you guys next week. One of my friends is making over a million dollars a month selling hoodies, and I'm gonna be going over to his warehouse, interviewing him, and breaking down exactly how he's doing it. So stay tuned for that video next week. I hope you guys have an amazing weekend. I'll talk to you very soon. Peace.